In this video, I'm going to go over composite functions. We make a composite function when the output of one function depends entirely on the output of another function. We often write this as f of g of x or f of g of x. I said the same thing two times, but it's written a little differently. This uh, little uh, zero here is about the sign size of a degree sign. And this is pronounced f of g of x, or in this case, f of g of x, same thing. So for the first example, uh, a rather straightforward one, let's pretend we have this function f of x equals x plus 5, and another function g of x equals 2x. And we're asked to make a composite function of them. And in this particular order, order matters. Uh, f of g of x, which equals f of g of x, well, this is the function of g of x, and g of x is 2x. So where we see g of x here, I can put 2x in, because that's g of x. So the function f of, or at, 2x is, hmm, well, I'll put 2x in for x, and I get 2x plus 5. So f of g of x equals 2x plus 5. So taking it one step further, and by the way, the domain of all of these functions uh, will be over all real numbers. So we don't have to worry about that here. Let's see. Uh, let's say that f of x equals 3x plus 1, and for g of x, we'll have x squared. And let's say that we're asked to find, uh, first of all, we're going to be asked to find the f of g of x. Well, this equals the f of g of x, which sometimes is a little easier to understand, means we put g of x in uh, for the x in the f function. So this means we're going to, we're going to need to take the function, well, of x at x squared. And, well, let's see, that looks like it's going to be 3 times x squared plus 1. So f of g of x equals 3x squared plus 1. Okay, let's use these same functions. I'll write them again. f of x equals 3x plus 1. g of x equals x squared. And this, con this time, Let's get the g of f of x. So order matters here. This is the g of the f of x. So let's see. g of, well, f of x is 3x plus 1. So I'm going to put 3x plus 1 in. And this is going to turn out to be, well, whenever I see and x in the g function, I'm going to put this. So what we're going to get, we're going to get 3x plus 1 quantity squared. So we're not, we could, this could be considered done depending on what level of math you're taking. If you needed to expand that, uh, what you should do is go 3x plus 1 times 3x plus 1. You would FOIL that out, and you would end up with 9x squared. Uh, the, that's the first. The outer is 3x and 3x, so we're going to get plus 6x. And then the last is 1. So the g of f of x is 9x squared plus 6x plus 1. And 
you remember the first one we did, where we had g of f of x, or sorry, f of g of x here, we got an entirely different answer, 3x squared plus 1. g of f of x was 3, uh, well, 3x squared plus 1 quantity squared, or 9x squared plus 6x plus 1. Let's look at one more. Mm. I'll find a piece of paper here. Let's use those same functions. f of x equals 3x plus 1. And g of x equals x squared. And let's say that we want, this is the third example, let's say we want g of f of a number, let's say 2. Okay, uh, we could look at this as g of f of 2 if we wish. There are two ways to do this. First of all, since we already calculated the g of f of x, okay, we already calculated g of f of x and we found it to be this, we could very simply plug in 2 every time we see x here. So since we already found g of f of x to equal um, 9x squared plus 6x plus 1, we can plug in 2 um, for every time we see x. So this is um, g of f of 2, which is 9 times 2 squared plus 6 times 2 plus 1 which equals, hmm, 9 times 4 is 36, plus 12, plus 1. 36 and 12 is 48, and 1 is 49. This is one way we could do this. We could also break this down and turn this into, um, we can find f of 2, and we're going to get well, that's 3 times 2 plus 1, which equals 6 plus 1 is 7. And then we could take g of 7, which is going to be 7 squared, which is 49. So two ways to do the same kind of problem here. Um, I hope, oh, yes, you can see the first way was g of f of 2. We plugged in, we found what g of f of x was, and we plugged in 2. Or you can break it apart by saying, well, f of 2 is this, and then the g of that, which is the f of 2, is 49. Uh, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.